Breast cancer is currently the most commonly diagnosed cancer worldwide. While treatment options are increasingly effective, they may cause serious side effects. One of these is lymphedema, a swelling of the arm or hand due to an accumulation of fluid in the soft tissues. Lymphedema can be an unpleasant and potentially serious condition, but it is rarely life-threatening. We have two main circulatory systems. We have this, the venous system that carries blood, and then we have our lymphatic system that's also part of our immune system. Our lymphatic system is comprised of ducts, lymph nodes, and organs that carry lymph fluid and empties it into the blood supply. Because the lymphatic system is found throughout the body and carries fluid and cells, it can serve as a highway for cancer cells migrating away from a tumor. Physicians remove the lymph nodes closest to the tumor to determine whether or not cancer has spread from its original location. In breast cancer, this is done either by axillary node dissection, which is the removal of all lymph nodes in the area under the armpit, or by sentinel lymph node dissection, which is the removal of only those lymph nodes most likely to contain cancer cells. So when a patient undergoes uh, breast cancer surgery, whether it be sentinel node surgery, axillary node dissection, uh, radiation, all of those things disrupt the lymphatic system. Basically, the lymphatic system is a return system, and when it doesn't have enough nodes left to filter the lymphatic fluid, it's going to back up into the arm and cause the arm to swell. Lymphedema may also result from radiation therapy used in breast cancer treatment. Radiation therapy directed at the lymph nodes may cause damage to the nodes and surrounding vessels. Both surgical removal of lymph nodes and radiation can damage the lymphatic system. Like a break in a water pipe, the damaged lymphatic system leaks fluid. The abnormal drainage of fluid ends up in the soft tissues of the hand and arm, causing swelling. Lymphedema can develop hours, days, or even years after breast cancer surgery. Currently, there is no way to determine whether or not lymphedema will develop, so it is important to continue monitoring the hand and arm on the side of the surgery for any signs of swelling or tightness. Some signs and symptoms of someone who's developing lymphedema could be decreased mobility, skin tightness, um, arm just feels heavy, clothes aren't fitting uh, quite as well as they used to, maybe they're a little bit looser on the unaffected arm and, and the sleeve's tighter on the, on the affected arm. As it gets more severe, um, they can start to experience numbness. Proper care of the affected hand and arm can help reduce the risk of lymphedema and keep it under control should it develop. Anybody who's at risk of, of, of having lymphedema should always avoid cuts or any, any kind of um, injuries that could occur in that arm. Always wear gloves when gardening. Um, they should also avoid heat. They should no hot baths, no hot tubs, no saunas, no sunburns, no tight accessories. They shouldn't have blood drawn from that arm. They shouldn't have their blood uh, pressure taken from that arm. They should really avoid uh, gaining any excessive weight. No lifting any heavy objects either, and nothing over 10 to 15 pounds is what's um, recommended. And if they have any other concerns uh, regarding what they should and shouldn't do, they should, they should always contact their lymphedema therapist. Because the symptoms of lymphedema are due to the accumulation of fluid, treatments are designed to reduce this. For example, Therapists can apply a compression bandage to the affected arm, thus reducing swelling and preventing the collection of more fluid in the area. Some patients may wear compression sleeves for extended periods of time. When your muscles pump, it pushes the fluid against this wrap that you have on your arm, which also helps to push both ways. The muscles pushing this way, the garment right here, pushing this way, which pushes the fluid out, okay. okay? So it's important to do exercises, okay? okay. So we're gonna go over just some simple exercises that you can do at home, okay? okay. I'm gonna give you one for the shoulder, mm -hmm. one for the elbow, the wrist, and the fingers, okay. okay? So this one is called climbing the ladder, mm -hmm. okay? So just, I want you to reach up, like you're reaching up for the ladder, okay? And with the other arm, and then that's one. Bring that one down, okay? And let's just do that 10 times, two, nine and ten okay kind of turn your arm over 
and I just want you to bend it the best you can. The bandage is going to stop you a little bit, but you should be able to bend all the way in and try to touch your nose. You can if you pull hard, okay? And back out. One, seven, and now we're going to move to the forearm. So okay. turn your arm over and down. One, two, and ten. Now we're going to move to the wrist. Okay, and this one is just simple movements of the wrist up and down. Okay, so just up. I need to. One, two, ten, and the last one is the fingers. Just out and squeeze like you're squeezing a ball. One, two, ten. Okay, and that's it. And I want you to do those two more times tonight. Okay, and I will see you tomorrow at the same time. Okay. Okay, and you're going to keep this on. Right. An average about two or three weeks, mm -hmm. uh, what I'll do is measure your arm. Okay. Um, and when the measurements have plateaued and your arm is not going down anymore, mm -hmm. then that will be the end of treatment and will end by you getting a custom compression glove and a sleeve. People ask me, does it hurt? No, it doesn't hurt. Um, how do I deal with it? Well, I learned to manage it. I've learned to manage it for the last 11 years. I don't let it hinder me. I don't let it stop me. My advice is to just, you know, if someone that was diagnosed with lymphedema, just learn about all the treatments or, um, that they have, the different type of massages and the different types of wraps that they have that are now available to you. For more information on lymphedema, please go to www.cancerquest.org.